Good morning, Outlookers! Blessed Sunday to everyone! Once again, it's Fellowship Day together with our uh, siblings in the Lord. So, I encourage all Christians to please uh, join in fellowship in your respective churches today so that you will be worshiping the Lord together with your brethren. Yes? Okay, so today... Uh, I would like to share with you the third thing that third by yes third thing that um, we do after we have received Christ the ba I mentioned that first we have to go to God in prayer every day or uh, pray without ceasing you know we have to be consumed by the thought of uh, the presence of God in our lives already and then because that's the way that we communicate with God through prayer and then let us allow him second point let us allow him to um, communicate with us through his word that's why we have to read the Bible every day you know and meditate upon it day and night okay and then the third one pala is yung uh, we have to obey God moment by moment kailangan na whatever are written in the Bible we have to obey we have to minsan mahirap but we have to ask the Lord for grace no Lord give me the grace to obey your word because outlookers alam nyo it's very difficult sometimes uh, when we have to choose between flesh and holiness or flesh and obedience it is very difficult no especially that uh, the, the flesh is so attractive no you, parang yun ang gusto mong gawin pero alam mo deep inside you uh, the holy spirit inside you is prodding you to obey uh, god uh, and and uh, ignore or leave the whims and caprices of the flesh but uh, that's why here we cannot on our own have the strength to to obey but we need the grace of God you know so the fourth point is um, we have to testify to others the presence of God in our lives through the way we live and through the way we speak or we we act you no know? so by word and by deed, uh, brothers and sisters, mga, mga kapatid, no? by word and by deed, we have to testify that God is already in us. No? Iba naman kasi kung, kung sasabihin mo, yan ang tinatawag na professing Christians. No? Yung mga tao na, uh, who are declaring that they have already received Jesus in their lives but they are still doing things that are labag sa kalooban ng Diyos. Remember the, that when we discussed about obedience, um, we, we obey because we love the Lord. And Jesus said that it is the manifestation that you really love me if you obey my commandments. And if you obey, God the Father is in you. No? So, so here, when we continue to obey, uh, hindi yan maiiwasan ang result niyan ay mamamanifest talaga sa buhay mo ang presence ni God no? through the way you live and through the way you uh, through your words no? so if you cannot testify by sharing the gospel just live your life according to God's will no? so titingnan nila titingnan ng mga tao na may iba talaga dito sa taong ito no he is so different he is so um, there is really something special about this person but you know when you say you are a christian you are uh, declaring that you have received jesus and then you are living a life separately or differently iba na yan no ma makoconfuse ang mga tao na nag na ano who are witnessing how you live na bakit sabi niya na ganun siya, tapos ganito siya no? so we have to be consistent with what we declare we do not just profess but we have to live our life accordingly no? so mahirap ba? yes mahirap, pinaka mahirap alam nyo, yes di ba sabi ko sa inyo every time that I share something to you uh, it is I uh, ako muna ang ang 
pinapraktikom ni Lord, no? So, every time I have a particular topic, alam niyo ba ka outlookers na bibigyan niya ako ng praktikum, no? During the time that I was more into temptation, naku, sang katerbang temptation ang dumating sa buhay ko, no? So, yung iba pa is ang hirap-hirap uh, tanggihan, ah, naku, but by the grace of God, no? Uh, sa grace ni Lord, nalampasan ko yun at nireveal niya ang mga maraming nakakatawa no? tungkol sa mga temptations na yun. So, uh, yun, kung hindi lang tayo magpa, sa Pisaya pa, hindi lang tayo magpatunto ba mga kaigsuunan. No? <laughs> we will, ano, we will come out uh, living a victorious life because of the grace of God. No, so let us continue to pray for each other. I need your prayers, alam niyo. I need your prayers. Why? Because I am a target of the enemy now because of what I'm doing here on YouTube. No, ayaw niya kasi itong mga ginagagawa ko dito ay marami ang na alam ko na marami ang na steer din, no? Maybe this is, as I have said in one of my videos, this is not as attractive as the dancing, the TikTok, the the mukbang, and whatever contents, but uh, what is essential kasi mga outlookers is invisible to the eye. Kaya nga yung kicker ko is living out life's invisible essentials kasi gusto kong i-share, no? Uh, of course, hindi, hindi, hindi lang ito gusto ko, ito ang gusto ni Lord, no? Gusto ni Lord na i-share sa inyo na or i-remind kayo na importante talaga that we live out the invisible essentials of life. And usually, this involves, or most, or if not all of the time, this involves spiritual matters. No? So, alam niyo, outlookers, I am in a struggle also. So, pray for me that I will uh, be strong and I will God will keep me strong because I on my own can never be strong. He will keep me strong and uh, I will continue to do what I'm doing. So, yan lang ang uh, hanggang dito lang tayo. And maybe I will just add na lang the last, ano eh, the last point is uh, we have to continue fellowshipping with one another. No? Uh, hindi pwede na, there is no such thing as Rambo Christian cannot live alone. We need others to encourage us, to rebuke us, to teach us, to disciple us, to pray for us. Kaya, dapat meron tayong Christian community. Careful sa mga communities na sinasalihan ninyo, ha? Kasi, baka communities yan na pinupull out ka from the spirituality that God wants you to be in. No? So, careful sa mga friends and uh, sa mga people to whom you confess or share your problems because the problems the, the advices may not be as godly as they should be no? so um, yan mga outlookers and those na hindi pa nakapagsimba go na because uh, it is very important to, to worship God with other believers thank you and God bless us all